Alright YouTube, I'm going to show how you make character selection menu and play menu. First off, what you do is one click hide, I meant sorry, show, so we're going to want to do this for all your characters you have on the screen. One click show. Oh. All right. Now that you have that, you make a variable called character. Um. So anyway, then what you do is just one click set character to one. Now I'm gonna now I have to do this for the rest. One click set character to two. So anyway, but that's it's really not that simple. I mean, here, um, so now you have forever, um, forever if not equals. Zero mm -hmm. character hide. So let's take a look at that and put that in for, to there. And um, you can look why because I'm going to have to build it for the next the characters. You're going to have to do this for all your characters. Put them mm -hmm. in <clears throat> forever if not, not equals. Make sure I got this from him. Yep. And make sure I'm recording. Yep, I am. Forever. If not. equals zero character I sorry I kind of zoned out I was listening to TV but anyway um now that you have that um you're gonna wanna make another sprite wait no um you're gonna wanna export him from whatever um you're gonna wanna you choose I'm like pick one of the characters on your list for him to be whoops I'm under fantasy. So I'm gonna do animals and cat A. Now we have him we um put the rest of your characters from the selection menu in. So we're gonna do um whoops I'm still under animals people. I've got Dan, and then we're going to import costumes, fantasy, fantasy B, there we go, in fact I'd recommend shrinking them a little bit, except him, he's a little big, let's shrink him even more, there. Alright, there we go. <clears throat> now we have that. We do kind of the, basically, sort of the opposite of the other script. One quit, hide, driver, if, not, equals, character, Character equals zero. Then show. So now we have that. Um. 
It's actually kind of simple. See? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I did something wrong here. Oh, wait, yeah. Um, forgot. Here's what you're going to have to do after that. If equals character equals one. Actually, I'm just going to no! use that as something to duplicate from. Alright, so you're gonna want to do two or as how many character as many characters as you're using. Um, three. So now we that we have that we do if character equals one, two, three. So we're gonna put for number one. We're gonna do cat a. You're just gonna like kind of I like do the characters you put on there. It can be in any order. Um, Dan and fantasy b there we go so um we have that whoops that was weird all right um so now we have that when he's clicked turns to him when he's clicked it's him when she's clicked it's him but anyway just you could um, you can hide the um, thing up there so I don't know why you want it. Just uncheck it on the list, or you could um, you could also just hit hide there. But um, that was how you make a character selection screen. I'm gonna show you how you make a menu now. So I'll just make a new. What's this? Alright, I'll make a new one. Don't save. Scratch. Alright, so we'll you just use him. We're gonna just X his. <laughs> Alright, so. Whoops. We're gonna wanna make, um, uh, like a box with, like, a play that says play in it. There we go. Just type in play. And then that's there. Now we're gonna copy that. You don't have to do this part, um, but you can turn it red. Um, but anyway, if you did that part, you're gonna want to do when clicked. Well, actually, you could just do this even if you didn't do that part. Switch to costume one, and you're gonna want it to show. Jack, can you make sure Gunner doesn't get like? He's not going to. Yeah, he's doing like tricks. Right, um, but anyway, now that we have that, um, one clicked forever. If Gunner, no, Gunner, sorry. I'm touching mouse pointer. Switch to costume two. And then we're going to duplicate this script and put Gunner Daisy. No, you're not going to eat the hamster. Sorry, they seem to want to eat the hamster. My sister's hamster. Just kind of weird, but. You guys! <laughs> he was by looking like he's about to box him, but. You guys go lie down. Sorry. Alright. <clears throat> so. Then, if not touching mouse pointer, pass them on, and then you get this. You don't have to do this part easier. I think it just adds on. But anyway, you'll do effects. I like to do this. You could put any old sound, but I just think this is the best. Oh, yeah, you have that. One sprite, one clicked. Play sound. Gunner? No. Play sound pop. So, um, then when you click it, she gotta, um, do this. But, anyway, I mean, you could do it with broadcasting, but in case you wanna do more buttons, um, I use variables, which I'm not gonna show how to do broadcasting today. I'm just gonna do variables. He's in his food bowl. Um, but, anyway, um, you do value. <clears throat> so, um, 
you can name anything I just name a value but um you're gonna want and the other one you didn't have to do this but you have to do this now when clicked set value to zero and then when clicked hide well you're probably gonna do this first set value to one and there we go but anyway um if you wanna like have a character or any old objects show up um this is what you're gonna wanna do and have to go on to cat alright so now that we have him one clicked hide alright so you're gonna wanna do this now forever if equals one value 